Hi everyone and welcome back. So today I have kind of a massive Lush haul. It is a collective Lush haul from probably a couple of months worth of shopping. I know I have recently put up a Lush Oxford Street haul which I will link below but that was kind of like all of their Lush exclusive products whereas this is all of their regular products. And um, there are quite a lot of hair and skincare products in here because I've kind of completely switched up my entire hair care routine having discovered a certain product which I will get to in a minute. So I have this massive bag of Lush stuff. It's a new discovery. It's their ultra bland cleanser and this was i believe around 12 pounds and it's just a really thick arm cleanser i now use this every night to take off my makeup and it is really good for removing makeup i used to kind of just take off my makeup with cleansing wipes and micellar water before i would then double cleanse i use this in place of that every other cleanser i've used before to take off my makeup just didn't do it very well this is really good so i will use this as kind of like my pre-cleanse so i would really recommend this it's just a really nice kind of thick heavy cleanser for removing makeup and it smells really nice as well the first thing i have is a big sea salt shampoo it comes in a tub and it's basically just full to the brim of sea salt this smells absolutely amazing it smells kind of like lemon it just basically smells like you're at the beach it is really really good i know that this is kind of one of their cold products that they've had for years i've never tried it before purely because the sea salt kind of put me off i find my hair doesn't get as greasy as quickly when i use this as well i kind of use this once or twice a week it's kind of like a deep cleanse on my scalp because i think if i did use it every time I wash my hair it would be a bit too abrasive but it's just really good it also gives a fair amount of volume to my hair as well which is something I'm not really used to because I have very thin fine hair I found it really good for that I would really recommend this however I think if you have dyed hair this probably won't be for you because I think sea salt and just salt in general can just kind of strip colour from hair but if you have hair that is your natural colour I think this is a really good one and then moving on to the next thing this is the best conditioner I have ever used and it's called Lush's veganese i did have a tiny bottle of this and my reason for buying this is i am trying being the keyword to go vegan so i kind of saw that it was called veganese and i thought i'd give it a try so i haven't been able to go fully vegan by diet yet i've been trying at least with like kind of like skincare and beauty products everything new that i buy i've tried to kind of be vegan so the name kind of sold me so i thought i'd give it a try and it's just the best conditioner i've ever used and i loved it so much that i bought a full size one it just really makes your hair so kind of soft and it doesn't way down your hair at all like i said i have very thin fine hair and this just worked amazing i don't think i'm ever gonna buy another conditioner again it's so good it's quite expensive i think the big size one is around 15 pounds but it will last me a long time and even if you're not trying to go vegan i think it is still a really good conditioner to use and i really really like this i think this is the first flush product i've ever bought in this kind of full size thing really really good conditioner the next thing i've got is kind of a bit bizarre this is their two fairy tooth powder and it's basically a powdered toothpaste and i was always intrigued by their powdered toothpaste because like i said i'm trying to use much more natural products but a lot of the kind of like natural products i find especially in this kind of concept haven't been very good however this is really nice and this is in a powder form whereas there are other ones are kind of like in tabs i thought if i was going to try one of kind of luscious toothpastes i would get the powder one because it looks like it will last a bit longer because this was five pounds it was quite expensive i do really like this it was a bit unusual at first brushing your teeth with something that wasn't kind of mint flavored but it is really nice the only thing i find with this is my breath doesn't feel as fresh after i brush my teeth as it would with a mint toothpaste i think that's just because of the association with mint my breath doesn't smell but it just doesn't feel as fresh so i do find that i kind of have been using chewing gum a bit more i think it's just kind of getting used to the association but I think it's just because, like I said, the association of mint and fresh breath and because I'm not using a mint flavoured toothpaste anymore. One thing I don't like about this though is because it's in kind of like a um, tub, that's the word, you kind of have to dip your brush in so it can kind of get a bit unhygienic. So I don't know how long this is going to look all nice and new. It's kind of a bit, when you think about it, at least when you're using normal toothpaste, it comes out of a tube so it's a lot more hygienic. So I don't know, I'm probably going to have to start pouring a bit into a separate container and then use my brush on that. I don't really know. So far, I am liking this, but it is still a bit of an unusual concept to get used to. Lush also very recently came out with these mouthwash tabs and I thought I would give them a go because I'm also going to Glastonbury in a few months. I think it's in June. So I thought that this would be really good for travel. And these are the creme de menthe 
And I've definitely said that wrong. Mouthwash tabs, and these ones are pepperminty. They did have other flavours, but um, my Lush store only had a few in stock. So I thought this would also be good because like I said, my breath doesn't feel as fresh. Having used the toothpaste, this would probably make up for that. I haven't used these yet, and there are quite a fair few in there, so I think they will last me quite a long time. So the first one I got was their mint juleps lip scrub and this one basically smells and tastes like mint chocolate it's really nice this was around five pounds I just use it for exfoliating my lips it's really good and because they're sugar even though they have an expiry date when I have bought these products in the past I've had them long past their expiry date and they're fine so I know they will last a long time and then I got this was one of their limited edition ones and this is the honey lip scrub I believe this is limited edition for Mother's Day although I probably contradicted myself when I said I was trying to go vegan with my other product this was kind of one of the things I've only very recently become aware of like the whole kind of issues with honey I kind of bought this and it wasn't until I was out of the shop that I kind of remembered like I said I'm still very new to the whole kind of like trying to go vegan just remembering what's in your products and stuff so I kind of just picked this up and thought oh that's nice it wasn't until I actually got out of the shop that I kind of realised if that makes sense even though it does say honey on there it's just kind of remembering what products I should and shouldn't be buying I will use this up I'm sure and then I got one of their kind of limited edition Mother's Day products again because on their website it said it was vegan Vegan. And this is their bar bar bubble bar. That's a bit of a mouthful. And it just looks like a sheep and it's really, really sweet. It just smells very floral. As I've said before, I'm terrible with scents. With this one, I did kind of deliberately pick one that would look nicer just for the sake of the video. However, when I normally buy Lush product, I always go for whatever the bigger one is, even if it doesn't look as nice. I'm talking like bath bombs and bubble bars. Purely so you get more product for your money because they are quite expensive. But for this one, I kind of deliberately chose one that looks quite sweet. And that smells really nice. And I think they've actually been using their Christmas bags at my Lush shop. Because these look like, that's the butter bear which is from Christmas. I think they've just been using their old bags. And then the next one I got is one of my favourite Lush products of all time. I don't buy it a lot because it's like £4. And this is the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. It just smells absolutely amazing. It's kind of almost watermelon -y, if that makes sense. Watermelon kind of mixed with floral. As you can see, I bought one that doesn't look particularly nice. I bought the biggest one I could. I bought whatever one that like, had the most product just because they are so expensive. I think this is around £4 now. But oh, it's so nice. I just decided I haven't had one in a long time. I to get one and then i found this other bath bomb and i don't actually know what it is i've moved recently so i've kind of just been as i've been unpacking these things i found this still in its wrapper and i think i don't actually know what this one is i think it might even be another sex bomb bath bomb yes it is <laughs> so i'm gonna leave that in the packet so had i known i had that i wouldn't have bought another one but luckily they're my favorite so I don't really know where this is or where it's come from but that's what happens when you move you find things that you forgot about and then the last thing I got was another bubble bar and this was one of their Valentine's bubble bars and this is the Ladybird bubble bar I had this last year and I really liked it and with this one again I chose like the biggest one but I think he looks quite sweet anyway so he just looks like a ladybird I kind of don't want to use them because they just look so sweet but that's that one and he was three pounds I think. But I definitely think the bubble bars are better value for money than the actual bar. One of the trips I actually got a sample of the Sultana of Soap. I didn't actually realise until I got back home. I've used this in the past. I do really like this soap. So thank you to the Lush person who gave me this. Just a really creamy soap. The kind of creamy more opaque Lush soaps are my favourite. So I'm glad I got this. So that was my kind of massive collective Lush haul. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.